Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading for April. Today is April 1st at the time that I am recording this, and uh, but when you see it, it's for you, don't worry. These messages are timeless. Thank you for returning if you're coming back for another reading, Scorpio. And if you're new here, I appreciate you being here watching this reading too. Thank you so much and welcome. Take what resonates for you, watch your other placements, and leave anything that doesn't resonate, okay? So let's take a look. Let's get started and look at what you can expect in April. Let's look at your overall energy going into April. Right now, it is the 1st of April. You may be seeing this at a later time, and that's okay. It's still for you if it crosses your feed. All right, let's take a look. We have imagine. What are you imagining and envisioning and manifesting for your future, for your life? We just started a brand new year, Zodiac year. We're starting a brand new month. What do you want it to look like? What are you imagining for yourself? Are you imagining good things? Are you imagining negative things? It's all down to what you are imagining and how you want to feel. That's what we bring in to our existence, okay? So imagining is just, this imagine card is just like, what do you want to manifest? And how are you visualizing that? Because we have this power of imagination that is creating our world for us and when we imagine how we want to feel that's even better because it's the feeling state that magnetizes it to us so if you're constantly feeling something negative you're going to magnetize negative we don't want that so it's as i say that we have the not for you card we don't want to imagine anything that you don't want, <laughs> you know, especially with a feeling state, because we don't want to bring in what we don't want. We don't want to bring in things that are not for us, you know. We want to bring in the things that, that we want to manifest. Hold, please. That was a car alarm. I don't know if you heard it, but I needed to make sure that there was nothing I needed to do. So, as I was saying... Look into your heart. What is the truth that needs to be told inside your heart? This is what we want to manifest, the truth. What is your truth? What is your, what is the truth about how you want to feel, what you want to manifest, how you want your year, your month to look like? What is your truth? Don't, make sure you don't put on a mask hiding that truth. It's time to take the mask off. It's time for you to be on top of the mask here, opening up your heart and looking at what you want. What's the truth on in your heart? And thinking about those things that you want. See, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of hearts. We don't want to think about the things that we don't want. We want to think about the things that are our truth and what we do want. Because you are in this, your cards are telling you that you're in this very... You're in your power of imagination right now. You're in your power of um, the, the magician. You're manifesting at a very rapid rate. So your cards are letting you know going into April, really focus on those things that you want in your, in your heart, those things that you want, not the things you, you don't want, <laughs> okay? Let's see what the tarot has to add. You're in your power right now. You're in your power of what of imagining and manifesting. You're in your power of bringing those things into your existence. You're in your manifesting power. You can literally create anything. So what do you want to create? Don't put your truth down for anyone else, you know? Bring your truth out. Be clear about what is important to you and what you want and Maybe there's some truth that needs to be spoken for you to get what you want. So if that resonates for you at all, Scorpio, we have the world. This is you completing, you're, you've come full circle in something. You have come full circle in something and you're ready to create something new. You're ready to step into a new season, a new chapter of your life. You're ready for this new beginning. You're ready for this new month. Whatever it is that you're done with, you, you're, you're ready for change. So 
there may be some truth on the inside of you that needs to come out and speak this new beginning. Maybe you need to tell yourself, you know what? I'm ready to start a new chapter. You know what? This is how I want my life to look. You know what? This is what my truth is. And imagine it. Because you're in your creative power right now. You're really in your creative power, power and you can, you can do anything. So what is it that you have come full circle in, Scorpio? What is it? It's something important. This new beginning that you're walking into. It's important. Be who you really are. You know, really be who you really are because you are manifesting. I'm going to get some more cards. You're manifesting. We have the Page of Swords. This is you learning. Maybe even learning about yourself. Maybe you're learning about your truth. And we have you showing up here in the tower, which is sudden change. Yeah, you have come full circle in something and you're ready for something new. You're ready for a new start. Maybe you're done with a relationship. Maybe you're done at a certain company and you're wanting to move on. Maybe you have, I was telling somebody earlier, I don't remember who it was. Could have been Libra. I don't remember. Anyway, maybe you have raised kids and you've been one way your whole life, their whole life, because you've been a parent right? And when you've raised your kids and then they go off on their own, it's like sometimes we're left with, okay, now what? I don't have to be a parent anymore. It's like the empty nest syndrome, right? And maybe you're finding out who you truly are for the first time in your life or in many years. Maybe you forgot. <laughs> maybe you forgot who your truth, what your truth is and what you want to do. You know, when I say truth, I mean like, what do you, what do you want to do with your life? You're in this manifesting power here and you've come full circle in something. You can absolutely pat yourself on the back because you've been through so much and you're closing chapters and you're learn you've learned lessons you've mastered wherever you've been. You've mastered that cycle and now you're learning who you really are. Are you learning what you want to do? Maybe you're taking a course because you're done. You want to start your own business. You're done working for a company. You're ready to, or maybe you're learning how to receive a promotion that you've been wanting to get. You're learning something here. And this is either about learning about yourself or learning about, you know, what you want to create. Now that you're in this manifesting power, you can do anything. There's something, there's something that you want to know. There's something that you want to learn about. There's some kind of skill that you want to increase. There's some kind of creative outlet that you're learning about that you're interested in. This is something that you're interested in. Now, whether that is your own self, your own truth, or some kind of skill or some kind of, you know, new avenue that's going to be fulfilling for you. It's, it's something that you're, you're starting new and it's something that you imagined yourself doing or being or having. And it's, it's literally like an epiphany changing everything for you. It's taking you in a new direction and you're ready for it. Yeah, you're ready for it. Okay, so for some of you, this is love. For some of you, you're you're done being single. You've reached a point where you're just you're ready to move on. And maybe you've got your eye on somebody with this page of swords. Maybe you're learning about somebody 
in particular. And you are about, the light came on about this person and you're about to move forward to tell them. And guess what? We have lots of love here. We have a brand new beginning in love. It's a soul aligned love. It's somebody who is, you're being drawn to them for a reason. It's a very important partnership. And there's a lot of love here. So if this matches your scenario, Scorpio, my goodness, it is all coming in in April and you might already be on track for this already because that page of swords says you're learning something. <laughs> maybe you're learning about this person and maybe they are learning about you. There might be somebody watching your social media learning all there is to know about you because they are attracted to you and they might not even know why they're being magnetically drawn to you. But it's going to lead to fulfillment, wish fulfillment, checking all your boxes. You're in your creative power. You are in your magic right now. You're in your magician power. You're in your manifesting power. You are getting exactly what you've imagined because you got clear about what you want and you got clear about what you don't want. With that not for you card, you got clear about what you do and what you don't want. And now you have somebody coming in that's going to check off all your boxes. There's unconditional love here. There is unconditional support. There is somebody who's on the same page as you. And you know what, Scorpio, they may look different. They may be completely different than what you've been with in the past. They may be somebody so different from your usual type. There's something different about these people. There's something uncommon about these people. This, this person is a new level from what you've experienced before. And they are, you're a new level for them too. You're being divinely brought together. You're both ready and it may happen suddenly and unexpectedly with this tower. Sudden, unexpected, the light goes on and you actually recognize that person. You recognize them as, oh my gosh, I want to pursue that person. Or I feel like that's my person. You know, there's there's some kind of draw to you and to them, them to you and you to them. And the light just suddenly goes on one day. Or maybe, Scorpio, you've known in your heart that this person is your person and they didn't know it and then the light goes on for them. Or vice versa. They may be at a distance from you. When these two cards come out, for me, together, and they do a lot. It means this person could be at a distance from you. These are both sixes. When two sixes comes out, come out together in a reading, it means a trustworthy partnership. This is just turned into a love relationship reading for most of you. Because we have the Nine of Cups here. This is wish fulfillment. This is emotional bliss. Look at this person is in bliss. <laughs> this is wish fulfillment. But the two sixes together, we're talking about a love relationship that is trustworthy, that is dedicated, that is on the same page, that is divinely guided to you because you are plugged in to your guidance. You're plugged into your imagination. That's plugged into your divine spiritual team, your intuition. You got clear about what you want and clear about what you don't want. And now it's coming. Now it is coming. You're ready 
and so are they. You have three destiny cards here, Scorpio, and this tells me that especially you showing up in this one, this is your energy, Scorpio. This is definitely divinely guided. This April is bringing you a divinely guided soul relationship that is going to take you right into, you're gonna fall fast, so get ready. You're gonna fall fast. And they may be at a distance from you, but it's taking you into absolute love and fulfillment like you have never known before. You've been preparing for this for a while. And they have been being prepared for you. You might have had to walk away from a relationship. And they might have had to walk away from a relationship because we've come full circle here. So I don't know if, you know, you've gone through a divorce or something and now you're ready for this new love. You've gone through your healing, whatever, whatever, whatever. We've come full circle here and we're ready. Okay, so if this is not love, this is you being in your creative power and that imagination, knowing what you want and what you don't want in whatever situation this is that resonates for you, what you're trying to create for your life. Could be you want more happiness, you want more contentment, you want more peace. You just want to go in a better direction. You want to take your life in a better direction. You want to feel better about your life, you know? You want to you want to know that you're going in the right direction. So this card says you are going in the right direction. You're headed towards this because you've gotten clear about what you want and what you don't want. You're literally in your manifesting power and you're drawing it into your life. This card says that you're at the end of challenging times and you're going in a much more peaceful, better place. You're heading towards wish fulfillment. So if this is your life going in a better direction, if this is your, you know, finding a better job, if this is starting a new business, you have a new start here of some kind. You have the tower that says you had some kind of epiphany and some kind of inspiring idea that takes you in a new direction that you're going to absolutely love 100%. It lines up with your heart. It lines up with your soul. It's like a soulmate opportunity for you. You're drawing it right to you. And the, you may be doing some travel. Maybe you're going to accept a job somewhere that is in a different location from you and you've had to learn all about it. You've had to learn maybe how to increase your skills so that you can get accepted in this new job that maybe, and it's going to change your life. This says it's, you're about to have some kind of life change. And it could start with just an epiphany. The light coming on like I said in the lovers card this can talk about making a choice to follow your heart so maybe you're looking at a job that's in a different location from you you're done with what you've been doing you've come full circle you're ready for something new and maybe you're looking at something that is maybe you're doing some research Scorpio doing some research you found something that's kind of at a distance from you and you're making the choice to follow your heart in this direction and it's going to lead you to, you're going to fall in love with it. <laughs> and you're going to have peace about it. You're going to feel so good about it. You're going to feel like you've made the right choice. Clearly, look. And what I love about this too, is there's treasure here. This is contentment, but it's also success. You've got treasure here. It's not just love. And look. Behind this person is like the sun shining. Emotional fulfillment and so much happiness. Because you made the choice to follow your heart and you were not scared. You figured out what you wanted to do and you're going for it. So you may have a, and you may be making a big decision in April to follow your heart. And your cards are telling you, wise choice because you're going to be so happy you did that. This may be a leap of faith. It may take a lot of research. You may be moving to a new location. You may just be wanting to move 
and you've been doing research and you're deciding to go wherever it is that your heart wants you to go, you might not even know what you're going to do for work. You might not know how you're going to get there, but you're going to get there. You're ready for this. You've been thinking about it for a while because you imagined it first. I love this reading for you, Scorpio. This is really cool. So let's look at, I love this for you. These cards could not be any greater for you. I feel like this tower is just you being in your power and this epiphany and this change that you want to make. I don't feel negative or anything about this. You, the light comes on, you know, but all of the, um, butterflies on the cards signify to me that you've been through, you've, you've gone, come through a, a transformation. You've come through a transformation from wherever you were at and whatever you were doing and however you were acting or being or whatever. And you, you're now in this new place. You're in this new level. You know, when the, when the butterfly comes out of the cocoon, it comes out a different being than what went into the cocoon. It cannot go around, well, it can, I guess, be on the ground like a caterpillar. It's meant to soar, though. You know, the caterpillar can't soar, <laughs> but the butterfly can walk around, but then it can lift off and it can soar. You've come full circle wherever you are at, and you're ready for something new here. And so I feel like this sudden change is because you've gone through this transformation and you've, you've now evolved into some kind of, you're like a new version of you and you're ready to soar. And all of a sudden an opportunity shows up. The light goes on. You have an idea and you're off and running in a new direction. You're following your heart. So it doesn't have to be love. But I feel like, for many of you, it is. And it's beautiful. So let's see what your angels have to say, Scorpio. Let's see what your angels want to tell you to close this reading. Ooh, we have the Queen of Air. That's you getting solid about your truth. Standing in it no matter what. Setting good boundaries and choosing to follow your truth. Maybe this is the love coming in. Let's see. Your angels are telling you objective decision making. Objective decision making after you've learned what you needed to learn. You know what you know that you know what you want. And you're making the decision to follow your heart. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in a situation. Now let's look at the characteristics because this could be your person. Maybe an air sign doesn't have to be this person that is aligned with you that you're, you know, hooking up with this month. I mean that in the best way. Is independent. They're not in a relationship. They're experienced. You know, the queen of air, she's gone through a lot. She's gone through a lot of challenges. So that's what they mean by experienced. Like she's been through a lot of life struggles and stuff. She's been through a lot. She's real realistic and witty. And it doesn't have to be a female. It's just the energy of the card. Okay. She's gone through so much, the queen of air, that it's made her have a sense of humor. But she's really, she's battled. She's been through a battle. But it's made her strong. It's made her independent. So she may be a little bit cold. So if this is resonating for you at all with this relationship, you may be dealing with somebody like that. And this could be a confirmation for you. The Three of Earth. This is someone who wants to work as a team with you to build something amazing. The Three of Earth is the power of creativity your imagination. Recognition for a very high quality work. Being a team player. Ooh. 
recognition. The light coming on. I was saying that earlier, recognizing. What messages do Scorpio's angels have for them? We have another queen here. And we have the sun. It's a big fat yes, Scorpio. And it's a lot of happiness. This is the happiest card of the entire deck of 78 cards. We have the ace of fire. A brand new beginning in a new direction. I feel like some of you are moving. Starting over somewhere else. We have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Water, the Ten of Cups. This is, you went from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. This is absolute soulmate energy. This is fortune after difficulty. This is everything coming together for you. This is the happy ending that you so deserve. We also have an Ace of Air here. This is a breakthrough energy. This is a brand new start. This is a gift from the universe going in a new direction. I feel like you're moving. Brilliant new ideas, epiphanies. Brilliant new ideas and inspiration, seeing the truth of a situation. Wow, I love how they always bring it back around. A challenging beginning. All right, let's see what we got. The five of wands, some challenges. You've been, you walked away. You close the cycle of the challenges. You walked away from this. Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. Yeah, that's the full circle that you completed and walked away from. This is the change that you needed to leave. You know, this can be just in general, like stress, stressy conflict, drama, stressy energy that you've decided this does not line up with my truth anymore. I don't want this anymore. We're done with this. We're going to see things differently. We're going to move in a different direction. We're putting whatever this is in the past. We have the Ten of Water. This is the Ten of Cups. This is the happy ending. This is emotional fulfillment. This is a happy family. This is peace and happiness in your family. A contented and rewarding family. Family life, sorry, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. This is your in, this is your angels delivering this message to you. This is what you have for you in April. Trustworthy relationships. So it could be that April begins. April brings the beginning of things that lead you to these beautiful energies, the beginning of new relationships, the beginning of more love in your family life, beginning of a new love relationship that takes you to the Ten of Cups. You got the ace here. It's got to start somewhere, right? We have the, another ace here. We have the Ace of Fire. This is, I feel like some of you are moving and starting like a whole new journey somewhere else could be travel. It could just be a new creative endeavor, starting something creative, following your heart. It could be this love coming in that's got a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion, a lot of um, attention. You're going to get a lot of attention. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of chemistry and passion and fire and electricity and excitement. An exciting new opportunity, career advancement. Change your life now. No way. <laughs> You're ready. <laughs> You're ready, Scorpio. And the sun. Happy outcome, Scorpio. This is a destiny card. We have Archangel Uriel, the angel of epiphanies. Brilliant ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself and your choices. 
listen to your brilliant ideas. The Queen of Fire. So we have two queens. So I don't know if you're one and another one is your partner that you're going to be meeting or reuniting with here is the other. This could be two people coming in for you. Okay. Now they don't have to be female. It's just the energy of the card. We have two separate people here though. So the Queen of Fire is confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. She's beautiful. Okay, so your person, there's a lot of fire here. Your person, there's a lot of attraction. You're gonna find them absolutely gorgeous. You're gonna find them very attractive. You're gonna find them very exciting, very adventurous, very charismatic. Maybe even they might also get a lot of attention because they're so charismatic and they're so fiery and fun and gorgeous okay so they may be on like stage they may be in theater they may be social media influencers they may be in some kind of spotlight so if that resonates for you or can or is a confirmation at all stretch your wings and fly don't underestimate yourself, Scorpio. Assert your independence and creativity. Wow. April is bringing you soul aligned, a soul aligned new path, really. You've got so much new beginning energy here and you've got a big fat yes in the sun. You've got your happiness. You've got your... Um, bliss. You're going in a much better direction. There's promotion here. There's love here. There is somebody is moving. All right. Somebody is moving and somebody is traveling. You have your wish fulfillment here. So whatever it is that you're going to start in April, it's going to lead you to your wish fulfillment. It's going to lead you to happiness. It's going to lead you in the direction of peace. It's going to lead you to love. I'm really happy for you, Scorpio. Let me know how this resonates for you. And please comment because I really love to read your comments. Love them. Let me know how it resonates and let me know what unfolds. I'll see you in the next reading.